get Launchpad on the horn. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle to find the scepter of the Incan king. Thanks for the lift, launch bud. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. Oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. McD? Hey, of course I do. Great, then I'll be your eyes in the sky. Oh, I'd be happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once. What an airhead. Hey, I heard that. Now then, ancient Incan legends claim the King's Scepter was locked away in a giant temple of the clouds, and it should be dead ahead. Gee, Mr. McGee, I see a lot of clouds, but no temple. You wouldn't, launch bud. The legend says the temple was hidden away from all but King Manco Capquac himself. But there's bound to be a way to reveal it buried somewhere in this overgrown salad bowl, and I'm not leaving till I find it. Launchpad, I found an ancient coin depicting a nightingale. Eat oh, you haven't stumbled across a pizza joint down there, have you, Mr. McD? I'm getting kind of hungry up here. Uh, I'm not even going to dignify that question with a response. How dare you! Another coin, and this one has an inscription of an eagle. Treasure. Aha! A coin bearing the image of the Queen's horse. Ha! It'll help us find the treasure for sure. How can you tell, boss? Never doubt the well-honed instincts of an experienced treasure hunter. If you say so, Mr. McDee. A coin showing the sun. Gads, I nearly tripped over it. This place is a mess. Where's Mrs. Beakley when you need her? Look at this. An ancient coin with the image of a scythe. 
It must represent a good harvest. This is Launchpad calling Mr. McDean. What is it, Launchpad? I'm running a little low on fuel up here. Well, where are the extra fuel canisters? <laughs> That's why I'm calling you, boss. I checked the glove compartment, but all I found was gloves. Oh, you'd best find those fuel canisters, or well, the next thing you'll be flying is a model airplane. Okay, okay. This time I ask you for help. Is that a promise? Found another one, and it depicts the ruling might of a spear. This is Launchpad, Mr. McDean. Come in, Mr. Big. Launchpad, what was that? Uh, uh, nothing, boss. I'm sure nobody was using that tree anyway. Uh, except maybe them. And them. Look at this one. It shows a shield. You know, I bet those Incans could have minted a whole lot more coins if they hadn't tried to make each one unique.
I call a ruby. Aha! This coin bears an image of the scales of justice. Just what I need to help me find the scepter. Hello, Mr. McDee. I had a thought. Launchpad, why start now and spoil a perfect record? That's a good question. Well, I don't have all day. What was your thought? Come to think of it, uh, I forgot. <laughs> Launchpad, were you dropped on your head much as a child? Come in, Launchpad. I found something. There's a carving of Manco Capquack on this stone slab, and there's eight circular notches around it. Sounds great. Does it tell us how to find the treasure? Well, I'm not sure what it tells us, but I'm certain it's an important clue. Bless me, bagpipes. These coins I found will fit perfectly into those notches. Oh, you must have come across an ancient ink and poker table, Mr. McDee. I come down there and you deal me in for a hand. You come down here and I'll deal you a blow to the head. You're supposed to be keeping an eye out for trouble, remember? <laughs> All right. Trouble spotting it is. Launchpad, what if the images on these coins symbolize the various tribes of Manco Capquack's empire? Maybe if I surround him with them. Oh, no, it's not working. Hey, maybe you need to say the magic words. What? Maybe not. <laughs> Will you look at that? The ancient city of Manco Capquack. And that beam of light, it must be pointing to the Temple of the Clouds. But how am I going to get across? Up here, Mr. McDee. I found a legendary temple of Manco Capquack. With a little help from your old pal, Launchpad McQuack. Oh, <laughs> oh, of course, Launchpad. I couldn't have done it without you. Now just hold on, and with a little luck, that scepter will be mine in no time. Mrs. Bigley, what are you doing here? Someone has to make sure you get your daily nutrients, Mr. McDuck. 
marvelous job as usual, Mrs. Weekly. You know, Mr. McDonald, these giant stone obelisks would make wonderful souvenirs for the boys. There it is, the King's Scepter. Well, <laughs> oh, this was easier to find than a penny in a parking lot. Catch me, kilts. What was that?
Mr. McTee. This place has fallen to pieces. No, I'm not leaving without that scepter. Get us out of here, Launchpad. I cannot believe we came all this way for nothing. What's the meaning of this? Outsider, our prophecies have long foretold that our ancient city would one day be returned to us. For hundreds of years we have waited, and at last that day has come. You mean you're not mad at me? Mad? Quite the contrary, feathered one. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, now that you mention it, uh, I did come here looking for an ancient scepter. I didn't suppose... Does it look like this? It fell from the temple. Oh, they're climbing for nothing, eh, Mr. McDee? Bless me, bagpipes, the scepter of the Incan King! It is yours. Take it and go in peace. After all, it was just the old king's back-scratcher. of the Incan King. I tell you, boys, there's something special about this treasure. Really, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, it just looks like an old back scratcher to us. <laughs> <laughs> you boys need to learn some respect for the finer things in life. Now, if you're done having fun at your old uncle's expense, help me decide where we should go next. <laughs> 